so we're going to put you to the test to see if you are smarter than some of the smartest high schoolers in this area. Ray? Uh, who do you think is going to do better, Ray? I know who's going to do better. <laughs> My palms are sweating. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Well, I'm very excited go. for this. And yeah. just, just so you guys can relax a minute, we're going to offer the first question to Butler Senior High School. Okay? Good. So, uh, so here we go. Question number one, guys. Which of these birds has the biggest brain relative to its size? The ostrich, the hummingbird, the sparrow, the eagle. You do get bonus points if you say Raymond J. Petlin. <laughs> <laughs> I think we want to get <laughs> What do you guys think about B? I think, I think that's good. All right, we yeah, think we're going to go with B. B, hummingbird, is correct. Ooh, very nicely so done. Small, but yeah, relative to its bird, size. I was going to guess that small one, though. Small bird, big brain. That, that, that would have been my question. I would have guessed that. I just want that on the record in case <laughs> we get nothing else correct. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what your question is. Okay. Here, in ancient Egyptian mythology, what? <laughs> In ancient Egyptian mythology, who was the god of the sun? Was it Ra, Osiris, Horus, or Jeb? Uh, well, yeah, what do you think, Mikey? <laughs> I, the sun is round. Yeah, and an O, o is, round. is round. That's yes. actually the only one that I remember <laughs> yeah. ever hearing of, Osiris. I think we should but go with that. B was right last time. Maybe we That's should pick that. a different letter. I, but maybe they just went. Okay, we with need me. an answer. Osiris. Osiris? Oh no. Oh. Ra <laughs> is the god of the sun. Who? I'm Ra. Uh, Ra. Okay. Ra. They knew that. I'm I knew. All right. He's a good guy. Here's your next question. Chronicles. Which of these cabinet departments was established first? The Chopin department, the energy department, the interior department, or the labor department? <laughs> All right, we're going to go with interior. Interior department is. Correct. You're way behind. Wait, oh <laughs> You're way behind. But, you but David, that? you have a chance right. to okay. uh, to pick it up here. Give us an easy question. For, for David, for you, this is this is about as easy as I can get okay. for you. Who was the only Best Actress Oscar winner to also win an Oscar for Best you know Original this, Song? This is right up your alley. Oh, was it? Oh, geez. Was it Julie Andrews, Barbara Streisand, Liza Minnelli, or Cher? Oh, you know what? I mean, I I, I, I know the Barbara. Shea. I think it's Barbara yeah. Streisand. I think it's Gentle, mm -hmm. and I think it's Barbara Streisand. But I'm I'm nervous to say that because it it's probably not Cher. Well, it could be Julie Andrews. I'm going to back you on the Barbara. It, Barbara. Yeah, you need an answer. I need an you? answer right now. We're gonna say we're gonna say Barbara Streisand, Ray. Do you yeah. know what? Sometimes they put so many. Uh, Possible answers here that sound so correct that it's hard to pick out the right one, but you did it. Oh! Oh! Is the correct answer. Look how he did it. Oh, you're good at that. We're we got to dig in there yes, a little bit. Yes. All right, guys, <laughs> at which London landmark was Anne Boleyn executed? Was it Charing Cross, Westminster Abbey, Tower of London, or Lou Jade Hill? All right. Okay, so. That makes sense. Yeah. Tower of London. Tower of London. Do you see how quick they don't even I run out of time to answer their questions? Where did they and they get them right. <laughs> We're giving 15 <laughs> seconds. I think we should use every yeah. 15 seconds. But uh, you are correct. Still, <laughs> very, very well. Yeah. That's why they're the winners. Yeah, yeah they are the winners. But so, you're not far behind. You're not far behind. Right. You could keep real close. Can we close get the here. extra time that they didn't use? Can we? <laughs> we just Good pass it on. It's like yeah. a strategy thing. We're going to stall. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question, though. Mm -hmm. In or it's the Grievers versus the Gladers in Maze Runner by what author? Was it Frank Herbert, James Dashner, Patrick Kane, or William Gibson? I've watched the Maze Runner that movie a million times. Okay, but I do not know. I, I have no idea what any of that is. Yeah, I would say. It's going to be A or, C. A or C. Okay, so let's go with Frank. Franks are usually Frank? good authors. Okay, yeah. yeah Frank. But James Dashner's are correct authors. Mm -hmm. That is incorrect. So we're like going one to three here. 
And uh, I think that pretty much seals the deal for you guys. Oh. Uh, very nicely done. Oh. Congratulations on the great season of KDK Haiku. Yes. Brought Thank to you, you by GB Life. You guys did great going great. up against the best of the best. It's over? It's over. It's over. Oh, I believe time. this is the mercy rule. <laughs> the mercy rule. This is the end. This is the end. Good job, guys. But maybe we get a chance to do it again. I know yeah. two of the three will get another chance when we have another season of Q right here on KDK and CBS News Pittsburgh, Saturdays at 11, starting up again in September. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well done. Yes. Thank you, Ray. We appreciate it. All right, we're going to be right back. Stay with us. <laughs>